Hey, welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you around our latest camper, which we are gonna be handing over to the customer tomorrow morning. They're coming over from Stockport on the train tomorrow, so they're not too far away from us. And I'll be picking them up at the train station as usual, and I'll be revealing the camper to them. So what I wanna do in this video is do a quick walk around of the camper and show you all the internal spec that this customer has chosen. And we've worked really closely with them to choose all the colors and some of the extras that they've added onto the camper. So this particular camper has had the Explorer package, but they've decided not to have any of the external modifications. So basically we've removed everything from the package that goes onto the external part of the van. So it doesn't have any upgraded uh, alloy wheels, it's not been lowered, it's, it's got no trim at all on the outside of the van, but, but we have fitted a tow bar for them. So I'm going to jump out into the showroom now, I'll just quickly talk about the base vehicle, and then, I'm, and then I'll jump inside and show you the conversion. But make sure you hang around to the end of this video, because we have fitted a rib bed on rails in this van, which is something that we do offer now in both of our packages. So whether you have a rib bed or a rock and roll bed, we can fit a sliding rail system in the van for you. So as I do the walk around of the inside of the van, I am to put some pictures up that I took earlier on today of the rib bed in its bed position and also with the bed pushed right forward in the van so you can see how much space you get at the back uh, when you do have a rail system. So make sure you hang around till the end and I'm going to get started with the walk around. Okay so here we are then. So this is a VW T6.1. It's on a 2023 plate. Uh, the van has done about 11,000 miles. It's very, very low miles. It's a Highline model and the colour is Ascot Grey. And this customer's actually chosen a different roof canvas colour to what we usually do. Uh, we usually fit the black canvas with the black top. They've chosen quite a unique look for this camper. So I'm going to talk about all the colours inside the van in a minute. So the canvas is like a wine colour and it contrasts really well with the Ascot van. So even though it's not got the 20 inch wheels and all the trim on it, I think it looks really, really nice. And it just shows that you don't need to have all the external trim on your camper if you don't want that. If that's not important to you, um, then you don't need to have it. Um, so if practicality is more important and you want to save a little bit of money, then you can miss off the splitter at the front and the sidebars and the wheels and things like that. Um, I prefer a camper to have the external trim personally, uh, and most of our customers do. Uh, but this particular customer wasn't bothered about all of that. They just wanted to have a really nice conversion with all the colours that they wanted. Okay, so let's hop inside the van and I'll talk through all the colours and the features of the package. So this particular colour combination we've never done before, so it's quite unique uh, and I'd really like to get your feedback on it. It's not something that we would probably have chosen ourselves, but now we've seen it in the flesh, I think it looks really really nice. It was really clean, uh, really contemporary. So the campus had our contemporary furniture, which is our new furniture design. So they've gone for the gloss white furniture with the silver trim. And then they've also gone for the white timbre door. We've never ever fitted a white timbre, but I actually think it looks really nice with the white furniture. It's kind of inconspicuous and blends in quite well. And then the customer's gone for the champagne upholstery. And again, we haven't uh, used this particular upholstery colour before. So it's the rib bed uh, with the ribbed styling. And then the stitching on the VW logos and in the main stitching uh, sort of uh, matches quite closely to the colour of the upholstery, uh, which I think again looks really, really nice against that white furniture. And then they've gone for the solid oak worktops and table, which again looks really good with this furniture. It looks really contemporary, really modern, and a very clean design. And then the flooring colour is called sand and it matches really well with the upholstery. And again, we haven't used the sand. Uh, vinyl before on the floor which again looks really nice with this upholstery and the units and then as you can see on the floor we've actually fitted a rail system so this rib bed actually slides right up to uh, the back of the front seats so you can see the rails go right past the fridge area there and you can actually slide this bed right up to uh, behind the passenger seat so it gives you maximum room uh, in the back of the van so what I'll do now is I'll just put some pictures up of uh, the rail system with the bed uh, pushed right forward so you can see what it looks like but as you can see from the pictures you get a huge amount of room at the back of the rib bed once you've slid this bed forward. So if you are wanting maximum space in the back of your camper uh, for storage, for bikes and things like that, then a rail system is a really good idea. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we can now fit a rail system on the rib bed and also on the rock and roll bed. So as you can see, we fit the rail system kind of flush with the floor. Uh, so it's not raised up, it's completely uh, lowered into the floor. But it's a very neat system and it works really, really well. Now the Vanshade's blind colour is called Russet. And if I just stand back here, you can see how closely that matches the roof canvas. Um, it's, it's more or less identical to the roof canvas, which looks really, really nice with that contrast with the Ascot and then also the contrast with the white units. And then because the van's had the uh, Explorer package, it's had the inverter and then the upgraded lithium battery and then also a slimline solar panel on the roof. Uh, so these guys will be able to do some wild camping. They can, they can use the 240 volt sockets even when they're not hooked up at a campsite, which is the big benefit of uh, going for the Explorer package because you get that full upgraded uh, electric pack. 
And then they've got the seven inch digital display which controls the lights, the water, the inverter. And then you can also actually check your battery level and also your water level uh, on that display as well. So all of our vans now have the 60 litres of underslung water. So the water's underneath the van. So you've got nothing in these cupboards anymore. So if I just show you in these cupboards, just to see how, so you can see how much space is in there. So as you can see, that's now a completely empty cupboard with lots of storage space in that bottom cupboard. And then the same again, at this top cupboard, uh, plenty of space, a couple of pipes going down the back there, but you've got maximum space inside uh, the cupboards and the storage area. And then you've also got the uh, cutlery drawer in there as well, which is a decent size uh, drawer. And then you've got your gas, your double gas burner, and then your cold running water sink there. And we can actually now fit hot water to our campers. So if you do want hot water in your van, we can do that. It's obviously a little bit of an extra cost if you want hot water, but we can do that. Most of our customers aren't bothered about hot water, uh, but if you do want that, we can do it. And then if I just turn the camera around and show you the front seats. So the customer decided to keep the double seat. So you've got the double uh, seat on a sliding uh, rail system. So that slides right out into the van and you can get that right pushed up to the table there. So you could all sit together in the back of the van. And then you've also got storage space inside uh, the double seat. You just lift that up. Uh, and flip that over and you've got plenty of storage space in there as well and that's the main benefit really of a uh, of a double seat and then you can just slide that seat back into its position uh, out of the way uh, so that's a really big benefit of the double is you do get that sliding system uh, and that extra storage space and then of course we have uh, upholstered the front seats to match the uh, rib bed so you've got the uh, champagne upholstery uh, with the matching uh, stitching and VW logos. So do let us know what you think to this uh, particular um, choice of colours. Uh, we really like it. It's something a little bit different, something we wouldn't necessarily have chosen. Uh, but I'm really glad these guys chose this uh, spec because it's a really nice example of something a little bit different. So what I'll do now is just walk around the back of the van and just show you uh, what the rib bed looks like from the rear uh, of the van. So you've got the back of the rib here and because it's on the rail system we have actually pushed this bed as far back as it will go but because it's on a rail system you can lock that bed into different positions moving forward all the way up to behind the driver's seat like i said so you've got maximum storage space at the back when that is pushed forward and then the space under the rib bed has now got a cupboard door which you just you press that and, that and the whole door opens up and maximum access uh, under the rib bed from the rear and you can also access this from the front of the van as well and then the storage space at the back you've got a nice uh, cupboard space here in this top cupboard we've got the bag for the tow bar in there at the moment but you've got a decent sized cupboard in there and then again at the bottom here we've now taken the gas from the uh, living area of the van from the main cupboards inside the van and we've now put it into the back cupboard so all of our conversions now will have the gas in this rear cupboard and we have a little latch on this door because we've had to redesign this door uh, to fit properly for the gas uh, canister so this has got like a little handle on it there then this customer wanted a 12 volt and an extra 240 volt socket fit into the back here so if you do want some extra sockets in the camper we can do that on the rear and we can put some extra ones inside the van at different places as well and then because the van's had the explorer package we have fitted the rear speakers in there as well and i've also forgot to mention when i showed you inside that we've actually used a different colored carpet on this van we've never ever used this carpet before and this is called wheat and it really does brighten up the van by quite a lot so i'll just come back around uh, inside the van and just show you that again because uh, I forgot to point it out so as you can see the bed board uh, is all in wheat and you've got the wheat carpet going all the way around the front all the way to the driver's area at the front there so this is an option it's a little bit more difficult to fit because it's got less stretch in it than the the grey carpets for some reason so it's a little bit harder for us to fit it but if you do want a lighter carpet in the van uh, we can uh, offer this wheat colour uh, which is really nice and the other thing I forgot to mention is that we are now using um, dimmable spotlights now so you can actually press and hold uh, the side of this spotlight and it actually dims it so you can dim the light here on that and you can just tap it on there and it turns it off off and on there so that's a nice little touch and we're going to be fitting those in all of our vans now whether you have the traveler or the explorer and then you've got a nice big strip light above the kitchen area which runs all the way along uh, the kitchen area there which lights up the van really really nicely and if I just go around to the back of the van again and just show you uh, where the water goes. So the actual top up point for the water is just underneath the van there. You can see that little yellow nozzle there. That's where you attach a hose to that and then to the, an outside tap. And that's where you fill up the water. And there's a little handle under there to release the water if you want to empty the tank. So it holds 60 litres of water under there. Uh, so plenty of water while you're away. And then, as I said, we've actually fitted a tow bar uh, on this van for the customer as well. So if you want a tow bar, 
uh, we can do that as part of the conversion as well. So it's got the privacy glass windows all round, and then as I say, it's got the burgundy canvas, uh, which is also a scenic, so that does unzip and open up as well. And we are putting scenic canvases now on all of our vans, regardless of whether you do the Traveller or the Explorer. Okay, so that's it for my walk around of this camper. I'd love to get your feedback on uh, all the colours that this customer's chosen. It's a little bit different, but I really like it when people choose different colours. It's just another example of how you can personalise your camper. So if you are interested in using our source and convert service, and you want to really put your personal touch on a van, uh, and you want some help in sourcing the base vehicle, we will help you from start to finish, from actually finding the right colour van with the right spec to fit in with your budget. And then we work really closely with you to choose all these colours of the upholstery, the flooring, the roof, the, the blinds, uh, the wheels, and everything that comes as part of the camper. So that when you drive away, you are 100% happy uh, with your camper. And when you're spending this kind of money on a camper, uh, I feel it's really important that you are uh, really happy with it and you haven't made sacrifices. So if you are interested in our source and convert service, do get in touch with us. We do have a little bit of availability uh, in November and in December, but we have already started taking bookings in January and February now. Uh, and we're actually a little bit busy at this point in the year compared to last year. Uh, and demand seems to be higher. We're getting lots of inquiries. So if you are really keen to either have your own van converted with one of our packages, or you want us to help you uh, to source the van and use our source and convert service make sure you get in touch with us as soon as you can just go to highlifecampers.co.uk go to the contact page send us a message or just book a time in my calendar and i will give you a call for a chat uh, and i will answer any questions that you've got and if you are looking for a ready to go camper that's just ready to drive away we do have a couple of options we have a 2023 plate automatic van which has got our old platinum package on it and we've actually massively reduced the price of that camper because it's the last platinum package that we did so that van is an absolute bargain and it's on the sale page of our website and then we've also got a brand new van with our explorer package which will be ready uh, be coming out of the workshop at the end of this month and that's literally a brand new van 100 miles on the clock it's in pure gray it's got the explorer package it's going to be absolutely beautiful and all the details of that van are also on the sales page of our website okay so that's it for this video if you haven't already subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you do that so you don't miss any of my future videos all of my information videos and walk arounds uh, and if you've got value from this video and you've enjoyed the content please also consider hitting that like button and i will see you in the next video speak soon